Paul says in Romans 8, 39, that I'm convinced that nothing can separate me from the love of God. Now, if nothing can separate me from the love of God, what's the key here? Paul says, I am convinced that nothing, death, life, principality, and things to come, nothing can separate me from the love of God that's in Christ Jesus. If you truly abide in the shadow of his wings, right? If you truly abide in Jesus, it's like this shadow right here that you've been watching. It never leaves me because he is the light, right? So that shadow never leaves me. The thing is, is that we all think that God loses his love for us because of our actions. God's not going to be angry with you for sin because he already dealt with it with Jesus on the cross. So if he dealt with all of the anger and wrath and indignation for sin on the cross with Jesus, that means God has none left for you. The only thing he has for you is to love you. You got to understand that if you are fully convinced that you are a son or daughter of God, nothing can separate you from that. Nothing. But you have to be convinced. Jesus was so convinced about his love that he actually went to the cross. That's his conviction level. I have the same conviction that God loves me no matter what. That doesn't mean I'm gonna go out and do stupid just because God loves me, but because God loves me, it empowers me to go out and do righteousness. Not righteousness of my acts, but righteousness of the heart. Righteousness of the flesh is you doing things to get, but righteousness of the heart is because you have that relationship first. Performance comes after relationship, never before.